So, we're trying this again. So, we got a good stream. That's always a good thing. Let's just delete this old one. Hopefully we can keep connected for longer than the five seconds this time. Alright, let's see how this is looking. We had to drop down to 1980. We 10.20, so... How are you looking? That's oh, not too bad. So let's take a look then. All right. So these are the new homes that we have. Oh, stand up there. And this is Granny Moses. So, ah, that clock, that clock wasn't there before. <laughs> Patty Lou, what have you been doing? Where is our, where is our stand? Oh man, let's take a look in here and see if, it, if it's in here or no. <laughs> It is fun. Come in here and things have been moved around. <laughs> I never know what it'll look like. All right. Do we need anything in here? So you do have some incredibly fun options in your uh, in your homes. We haven't added all of them. All right. We're going to turn this off because it's giving a feedback of the sound in there. So I just wanted to make sure that I could hear it. Turn it down. There we go. All right, so what we have in our options that we purchased was the ability for shared storage, um, the cash box, uh, wardrobe so that you didn't have to run off to whichever um, one. Of, oh, there's lots of locations where you can get, but most they're mostly in the cities. And if you don't want to go to the city, we're, we're a little bit isolated over here in uh, Van Horn. And this is the little house just outside of the... Oh, nice. I just saw the antlers that you put up there. That looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm sure she's going to be in here because I hear her doing um, some... Let's go out here. I have a funny feeling she might be out here because I can hear the, uh, <laughs> the... Somebody working on the... There we go. Alright, so I'm going to mute the in-game chat so it's not... So we've got our new launches. We've got... Uh, there you see two people are launching their their uh, wagons separately and without getting all jumbled and crashing on each other. Really, Moses. Hi yeah. there, how you yes. doing? Yeah. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I should warn you. Um, there's the this ha it has one of those newfangled things happening in YouTube. If you know what that is. <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> Just figured you know, I should I, give I, people I, I warning. Know that, yeah, I know that they use like tubes and like transistors. Yeah, and that's stuff. what I. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, I give people warning. I'm just showing some oh, yeah, of the no, I, lovely I, new I, things. I, did, I, I saw the outfit and I was like, holy <laughs> stuff. Oh, you should have seen us last night. We we tried out the Valentine ring. Oh, really? <laughs> it was pretty oh, funny. How many, how many did you take down at Fisticuffs? <laughs> well, it took my sister and I to take one of them down. I'll tell you, he was a pretty big fella. But he has the distinction of being able to tell his friends that he was taken out by a couple of grannies in their dresses. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is true, man. Imagine having to go home and explain that. To I you. know. What's going right? to you? <laughs> He's a black eyed, and it was a couple of grannies. <laughs> I've only been in one fist fight, and I didn't understand that there was a difference between knockout and seriously injured. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. I, uh, I oh. fortunately beat my opponent one too many times. <laughs> it happens. Like, You're just supposed to knock him out. I'm like, what do you mean? I did knock him out. For good. Like, oh, that's, that's <laughs> out. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, oh. oh. I love some of the moves, though, that they use. Wow. We had one little girl come in, and she was pretty good. She was shorter than everyone, and she was pretty ferocious. 
So what are you up to today? Oh, I'm gonna go run security for this uh, delivery run here. Nice. Yeah. So, other than that, just, you know, uh, Ray over there invited me to hang out once again. And, well, what do you know? <laughs> you know Ray again, I run into you again. So. Oh, this is the space. Like, this is our house here, so it's, uh... Yeah. Oh, you live in this house. Yeah. And it's, okay. yeah, it's pretty rustic, but it's got all the amenities without all the people. No, this is true. Yeah, and we're close to the bank, and so it's sort of like being close to every, you know, the city without having to be in it. So, I love this new launch, though, I'll tell you, no, no more I, I can't be interrupted from this conversation at any time if you're ready to go. I hope you're not waiting <laughs> on me. No, don't worry. Yeah. I need to put myself on. Yeah. No worries. A little louder there for that. No worries. Yeah. So I'm just going to wander around. But this is this is a nice improvement the way they have these launches. So they're not stacking on each other. Yep. Like it. Well, all right. Well, Alrighty. I guess I'll go ahead and get to business, but I am certainly glad to have seen you. <laughs> you as well. You have a safe delivery. Oh, we were with the four of us. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's uh, crazy enough to mess with you. <laughs> you have a good day. And I pity the fool who's foolish enough. Exactly. To mess with you, so. <laughs> you guys have fun. Oh, yeah. I, okay. So I marked the train station. Yep. Yeah, uh, you marked that as well. Yeah. So they're gonna go and do themselves a delivery. They've got some good security on there. That's that's a good thing. Voice off there. All right, so we are going to do a little training with Panda. Let's come on out here so we're not going to mess people up too badly. So this is the horse training. All right, I'm just going to make sure we've got some volume here. Yeah. Voice off. There we go. Yeah. Turn that back down. All right, so uh, get this panda trained up. This is one of the little paints, paints that I caught yesterday. I figured I'd get him ready to go and make a little few dollars off it. All right, we'll wait a minute for the fog clear and then we'll run over to the second hour. So, yeah, the uh, way this works, you get yourself lined in here, get started up, and stay on. So when you first start training, you have to hit, like, uh, 22. And then once you get a little farther along, you only have to hit six times to finish a session. So he's up to 500, and we'll, when we're finished with him, we want him to be 9999. So got a little ways to go, and I won't keep him going the whole time. I just figured this is what I caught him, and he was already at 500. That's one of the benefits to catching them out in the wild versus buying them, is they've got a little bit of a head start sometimes on the training. But it might only be 100. If you're a horse trainer, you get a little bit of a break when you go to stable them. It's $10 instead of being so high. When you don't have the horse trainer, I think it's 30% of the cost of the horse to stable. Which, when you're just starting it, it can be a little much, especially if you catch one of the gypsy calves or one of the, uh, the roosters. They're, they're pretty expensive, so you know, even 30%, that might just be beyond. So, when you're starting out, it's best to catch sort of the the Tennessee walkers are the markets because it's not very high then. Here I go, off I go. <laughs> we won't go too long with this. I just wanted you to get sort of an idea. This is horse training in Reddit. And one of the things with this that I really like, if you happen to have one of the um, collector, collect, 
birds that collect things up. Like, um, not the fish, not the hunting birds, or any rats or anything, but one of the, let's see, I'll pull them up and show them to you. So I go in here, we're gonna get our... <laughs> and he's not very high chain justice. There he is. Let's take justice out. See, so call. And uh, he's a. I like this parrot. He's pretty. And I'll just get him set off. I won't start training until I have him hunting. Don't worry. Sometimes he, these birds don't really love the horses, so I'm just going to jump off. Once they get past a certain point, they're okay, but. Or a certain level. There's a whole lingo in here too that most people want to stick with. Um, very roleplay oriented and lots of fun. Like I said, was saying to my friend there that my sister and I were hanging around in Valentine and I suggested that there are restored properties uh, if you get a lot of mud because he's saying that my character looked pretty young for, for a 60 year old and I said well you know she's been training a long time in Valentine and that mud is super enriched and of course one of the gals there smart little, smart little thing says yeah mud and horse shit <laughs> just laugh uh, so then I had them test out the, the theory by crawling around in the mud to see if it helped them. And sure enough, they were feeling better right away. So, you know, <laughs> let's get that bird back. Well, you won't be here before I, I can do this fast. I'll do one more training on this and then we'll send the bird out. We'll go for a run. Yep, maybe I won't finish it. <laughs> what level is he at? When I get to be close to 2,000, sometimes they get a little cheeky, but... So the bird just brought me charcoal. It'll bring you all sorts of things. This area, sometimes he, he tends to bring me a lot of beets that I don't really use, because none, none neither myself nor uh, my sister are chefs, and I think that's the only thing that you can use beets in. Yes, don't click that. Wait until it says click name. It takes a while when you first start with the horse training because, like I say, you can see I only have to click six here. So he's up to 15 hunt already. Once he's at 2,000, I have full stops, locks, rears, everything. So I like to get them going there before I take them out so that we have him, you know, listening to everything he's told. And then the, up to the 9999, that's just experience that he gets, which basically lets you sell them for a much higher price. I never did quite operate uh, in the horse trading. Oops, we went down again. As soon as you get close to 2000, uh, your horse just sort of needs a little bit more tries. He gets a little frisky around that time. He knows enough just to hurt you. <laughs> and you hear a fox growling there in the background. I love this spot. I, I think that this is probably my favorite place to train. It doesn't have quite the... Uh, the number of people show up, which, I mean, they do, but they completely do their own thing, call their wagons, go into the house. They really don't, unless they're horse training, they really don't mess with you and come over and talk with you or anything. So you can kind of, so we can have uh, probably one more, he's going to knock me down maybe one more time. But you, you go up 200 with each uh, training session. So. And what I love about this server is that they're a role play, but they don't, um, they, they're not painted into people who might not be completely um, familiar with the role play. It gives you a really good chance to learn about oh, you make that one. That's what I figured. Now the next one should be okay and should get us to 2,000. And like I say, once you're at 2,000, it's fully trained but not doesn't have the experience that uh, you'd want before you'd sell it. So, a couple more clicks to go here, and we are up to the 2,000, so 2120, so I can now take this horse out and be confident that uh, I can do all that 
I need to. Like, let's try out our, our skid. Get a little bit running a skid. So he's got that. We've got the rear. And we've got the side pass. So good. Oh, he's nicely trained. Very nice. Okay, so we got him doing everything we want. Now what does he need? A saddle. Let's get him a saddle. Here we go. All right, I don't need him in here. I didn't need to bring him in, but I'll, you got to flee him before you can put your saddle on. So what do we want for a saddle? I don't have much. I'll put a, a cheaper saddle and saddlebags. The reason for saddlebags is that you can carry things around that you collect so you don't have too much weight. So let's put that on Panda. All right, so horse tag. There we go. Saddle. Well, I'm not going to be able to see the saddle, but let's just grab one of these. Let's change our camera position. Maybe we can see a little better. That just gave us his hind end. Didn't help much. So, yeah, during the during the daylight, it's way better for picking out a saddle. But I happen to know that this one here is a pretty nice little saddle. Let's just put that on him. And let's get some saddlebags. And it's red, so we should probably go with the big paw. Saddlebag, the red one. Find it. Red or red brown, I don't know. Red's probably fine. Red will match it fine. Alright, so there we are for 150. We're saddled up. We're just gonna call him back now. Let's go outside to call him so we don't have him inside the let me out. There we go. Don't want him in the barn. He gets a little a little excited when he's so yeah, he's pretty much ready to go. Let's head up on uh, to Annisburg and see what's happening there. So they've given all the opportunity, um, or, or all the available, ho uh, many available houses. And prior to the last update, you couldn't have, everybody couldn't have the same house, right? A few people had this house or that house and uh, you know, you could apply for to the realtor to get certain houses, but uh, one of the nice things about being out here and having a bunch of people owning the house is that you you have you have people come around, but not you, you know you're not. Uh, we did have a house in Blackwater, and I just found it a bit too peoply, and we, uh, my sister did end up getting robbed so many times. So we have here we can take the fast travel, you can check the chain, train schedule, request a train, a co stagecoach, or even a private train. And then we have over here the bank, so you can open a locker or you can open the bank. I don't need anything at the moment, but here it is. We can get access to pretty much everything. Um, so yeah. Then there's getting the mail over here, but we have the telegram set up. I also have a bird that will fetch telegrams, but some are really expensive. The bird, I think it was like at $4.50 or $5.50. It was just a bit ridiculous. So we got the telegram put into the house, and it's only $1.50, which is, you know, cost you in the beginning, but the convenience of having it right there. Oh, well, it's quite dark now. All right. So I know where we can head while we're doing this. Now, I'm supposed to take my guns off here, but, you know, the law is never here. So, let's, um... Get moving, will you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get back onto the railroad. We're just gonna follow it up to the falls. One of my favorite places to hunt, so if you like, let's just get a better look. Get out of here. All right, here we go. And it's starting to lighten up, so it's gonna be really nice by the time we get up there. If I could have bought the house there, I probably would have, but uh, it's now, there's just so many people there that have put their tents down and stuff. It's not quite what it used to be. So what I'm, what I, you know, what it, what I guess I call it the OG County, <laughs> because original gangsters, it's as literal as you could get going into RDO. Uh, I just, I really loved 
just sitting there. Sometimes I would just sit there. and You couldn't go and sit in a chair or something like that, like you can now, that you can set your own caps up. But it's, it's still just as beautiful. You just have to be prepared for a lot of the hunters that come through. And all you gotta do, though, to get rid of them is just park your wagon there. Because no animals will show up when there's a wagon around. <laughs> Not just any wagon, but if you use the uh, hunting wagon, uh, I guarantee you there will not be a whole bunch of animals. And when there's no animals, strangely enough, the people disappear too. So there's the camp over there that people have set up. Um, the others that I really like their camp a lot more, they were very unobtrusive. It makes me sad when people will set a camp up like this. Obviously you can, it's, so it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with them doing it. But this used to be just such a beautiful you know, to see the falls and and uh, now it's just a little bit too peopley in some places, but still really fun. I just wish that they could make it so that you can't see the camps because sometimes they just sort of appear right before you. But like I say, I still love it. Love being in here. Best place ever. And it, hey Rockefeller, sorry, I am so bad at watching to see people coming in, but I'm so glad that I could stream now. I did have to drop down to the 1920 by 1080 to get it to, so that's pretty much what it's got to be, is that my my uh, bandwidth just can't support the high level streams. It's what you get for living in the boonies, I guess, eh? So yeah, you can hunt here, but this this is one of my favorite places, is up here, the Tesla station. Usually find a cougar around here too. He tries to eat ya. And if you happen to be an, an herbalist, oh my gosh, there's so much up here. Uh, lots of wintergreen. So if you're looking for wintergreen, come on up. Ginseng a little bit, but uh, so yeah, even with this one it hasn't been growing too much like even with all the stuff around it it actually kind of enhances the whole idea that you wouldn't really have something in isolation like this you would have lots around it i haven't ever tested to see if you can use any of these campfires let's see Do they give you oh yeah you can okay that's cool um how about any benches yeah see when you get the you can sit here with these two so it gives you the op. Oh, no, let's do the chair. Oh, it's too close to the fire. Oh, is that going to let me there? Let's see. Yeah, so we can sit down here. We have an option if we wanted to sit and have ourselves a drink and enjoy the campfire. You can do that. There we go. And then once you've Absorb as much of the campfire scenario that you need, you just head on off and go hunt yourself some elk, lots of deer up here, um, fox too, lots of fox and skunks and chipmunks and turkeys and moose and cougar. Yeah. Like I say, it's still to me, it's the prettiest spot in in my eyes. Just having that waterfall like that, it sort of makes me think of what <laughs> Niagara Falls probably looked like way back. I mean, on a much smaller scale, but just, you know. Yeah, you can even find mushrooms here. What? Oh, see, right there, as we were going along, your horse just has that little flash up. Can you see it? There it is. So we just go back, and I'll just give you a hint. Don't try to use it. Don't try to pick it when you're on your horse. Where did it go to? Did we go too far? There it is. Now, if you are an herbalist, um, these light up. So if you like that aspect of the OG version of this county, you will love the, the herbalist having that light up so that you can see it from a distance. Not, not too far, like, honestly, you've got to be pretty close, but there's no missing them. Whereas it's pretty easy for me to go right past them and not see them. I didn't get them all. There's a bunch over here, too, on this side, but... 
very easy to mess them. I'm trying to see where these two are. So you, so you can't just uh, eagle eye to see them. Some are in here and I just can't remember where they were. Is that a turkey? It is. He's just sitting there. Oh, this is horrible, but I'm just going to kick him. Oops, don't punch your horse. Sorry, horse. I'm trying to get this turkey. So you flee for a minute. There we go. He's frozen, so when they're frozen, I just give him a little kick. So <laughs> he's going to disappear, but um, no point in wasting a, um, a bullet with the ones when they're frozen. Because if they just disappear, you can't do anything with them, so you might as well <laughs> go and kick them. And I don't advise abuse to animals. And anyway, there's a winter green right there. Yeah, these are two right beside each other. So you could pick some herbs while you're waiting. Is that turkey back after just disappearing on me, you cheeky little thing? You want me to come and kick you again, don't you? All right. Come on over here. So it's really complex. You have so many different things. Is he going to disappear again? No, I get to skin this one. And as the sun comes up, I just love this location. <laughs> I mentioned that. Yeah, I do. I love it. I haven't seen much in the way of wildlife. Oh, there was my mint there. Yeah, you want to memorize these. You don't have to when you can see them from a distance, like with the herbalist. But the herbalist also gets about sometimes two, three more times more than what that what we get. So I hear an elk over there. But I'm going to I'm going to take a little run, and I don't feel like I'll be spoiling any surprises because I really don't have too many people that. So I'm going to take a little run in here. Don't tell the police about this. Shh. Don't want them to know where we get these, okay? Let's just go underneath here. Leave the horse here. Take a little run in. And oh, look at that. I don't use these myself, but uh, they do sell pretty well. So like I say, when the sun comes up, it's just beautiful. So since I did a lot of streaming, um, which is probably one of the reasons that I have not been in for quite some time, I got a lovely little German Shepherd pup. She's a long hair, and uh, yeah, she she is like the joy of our lives and the bane. <laughs> but she is, she's just so funny. Let's go look at now. See, nothing has showed up. This is interesting. Maybe my stream scared them all away. All right, where should we head from here? going to chase that elk because I heard him over there, but I just wonder if I haven't seen anything. Oh, the horse is getting a little excited. Sometimes that can mean when he starts to snort. No, he's not. Sometimes when he starts snorting around here, this is a spot where the cougar spawns in. Shows up, I should say. So one of the things that's very hard for me is to remember the right words to use for things because... I streamed for so long in, uh, on the PS4 and RDO, but this, yeah, this is where the, the cougar shows up, tries to eat your face, but what I do is I just jump onto these rocks here, and then I shoot him, and then I take him, there's a thing, I, I was hoping to show, there's a thing that you can do if you get a cougar or a deer, and usually, like, the, the deer are showing up here all the time, there's nothing right now. Right, so let's just leave for a little while and then go back and see if that helps them 
find our way back here. Like even up here, you usually have, you know, something right across the road in front of you. But there's, I hear animals, but I'm not seeing anything except for that one frozen turkey. Oh, that might be a clue. Sometimes when the animals are frozen like that, it can mean that uh, either the area is too full and So I come up here sometimes when I'm looking for ingredients for things. And this spot here has a lovely shop. You can get uh, meat and fish, but you can also get animal parts. So like say here, if you need a bunch of these and you happen to have $500, you could buy 10 of them. And when you're doing some of the quests, it needs things like owl feathers and bear claws for making some of the recipes. Yeah, she carries them here. So this is great. Wolf pelts and the like. The Rosetta spoon feather, or Spoonbill Feather, that one's, uh, you know, some people have a difficulty uh, with the shooting of them, of the birds. But yeah, so those are there. Um, and we were just given these shops. Everyone can now have these shops. So here's another one here. This is Chavez, and you can get medical tonics, pharmaceuticals. Oh, the pig pill they have here. This is great. And I'll show you the pig, because the pig is sweet. All right, so let's head on into here. To sit up here. We're gonna see if I brought along everything that I need to call my pig. That would be in the farming. Farming. No, I don't have my uh, my pig. The berries. <laughs> so that's what you need to call them. So maybe we'll head back to the house and see if there's any there. But I don't think they are. I think that uh, I must have used those up. Let's head back down to. So if we look at those, oh, there's a couple up there. I think they're more um, herbal shops. But yeah, even when you're up in the middle of uh, the very far end of Ronit Ridge, you can still find things. So let's see if we were heading. Let's head down. We've been through Annisburg. Let's, um, where should we head to? Let's head over to... Valentine Market. That's a good thing to check out, see if there's anything there. So I put a balloon on the market yesterday. Just, I know, you know, people are now past their big housing buying frenzy. They've done the decorating that they need, and some might put up some stalls, but, you know, oh, that's, what was that? What was that? I just heard running through there. That was a deer. Okay, so whatever was going on there, I better get rid of my boat, because let's put that inside my horse. Because I don't really want to shoot with the bow right now. I'm going to do some curing too of some of my hides. Alright, come on, where's that bow? There are some challenges sometimes with the carrying of your... Just to make sure I've got my guns equipped. Oh, where is my... Oh, I must have put it on another horse before, because I had to take them off, and that's the thing that annoys me. Like, you unequip them, because, um, you know, the deputies get quite upset if you have them in town, but through some strange sort of magic, um, they just reappear on your back, and, you know, we had some deputies just being right cranky at us because we were dancing in Valentine, and I didn't realize it was on my back. We were laughing and goofing around and yeah you can get a fine for that but you know as long as as it's something that you can't really control happening it seems a bit punitive to fine us for that although i guess you could do a stint at sisica wouldn't that be justice but they have uh, really made this so it's quite reflective of real life we get all the real issues all the same scenarios so you know, you can't get too upset. They've made it as lifelike and real as possible. What was that? Oh, that was uh, probably a, probably a, one of those little, uh, not wolverines, but, you know, badgers. Yeah, that. Oh, we need a drink. All right, let's drink some water so we just don't up and die. So I'm going to try. 
try some of the berry juice that'll last a little longer. Just don't do that in your balloon. So I've now told so many people where the launch spot is for the, the balloon. I might just as well ride there and show you how to how to fly your balloon. I think this is where I've had some of the most fun. <laughs> it's getting up the balloon and just to go. And if you don't have a balloon yet, this is the best way to uh, practice flying. This is tricky. When you're running through a tunnel with no light, you got to use your mini map <laughs> to get to the other side. It's a pretty long tunnel. And you just keep yourself on the bearing on your mini map, and you should be okay. You can still bounce on the walls a little bit. But this is a long tunnel. And we don't have trains as often as you do in the others. But uh, they usually you hear them from a distance. Here we go, almost there. It's so lifelike. They got the echo down just perfect. Really love it in here. Oh, so this is back at station. So we can run around. There's sometimes some really good horses up here, so it's always worth stopping and taking a look around. I hear it. I think, oh, there's a bear down there too. Got ourselves an eagle flying around. Eagle or hawk is out there. And you can run up to um, Wapiti and get your. Um, oh, somebody's got a shop here too now. Let's go see what that is. Pretty smart. Right by the mining. Let's go see what they're selling. I bet you it's going to be. I never even thought. What a smart idea. Put it at the right beside one of the mines. Anyone who doesn't have a mining role will realize that there's other ways that you could get the ores that you need for some of your recipes. So uh, I really love now that they have buildings. Where is it at? Where is it? Is it right in the center? There it is. Oh, like that's very comfy looking. I like it. So yeah, this is an herbalist to set up here. They seem to be every place. Let's see what we've got for prices here. These hunter talismans are really nice because you get double all of your, all of your hides and furs and skins um, for, the, for a full um, game day. So if you start at 7 a.m. in game, then you would go till 7 a.m. the next day, which is shorter than you would think. But if you happen to be doing uh, legendaries, okay, so there's a one right there that we can grab. Let's see, we got you. You did there, buddy. You knocked me off. Let's let's rope you. Oh, you're gonna kick me? You're gonna kick me? I don't think so, buddy. Alright, so we'll just bring him in. I heard another one though. I just want to make sure it's not one of the other ponies that the roadsters. I like those. Alright, so let's look around. Alright. See where he might have gone to. He's up there. I know he's up here. Which one? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it could be a half. Let's see. No, it's just a Kentucky Saddler, so I'm going to keep this one. So instead of heading over there, I might just bring this guy in and either stable him or sell him. I don't know what we'll do. I don't know for sure. I've got a few horses I have to train, but it never hurts to have a few. Gives you another 500 bucks every time you sell it, so. Pony, you can come along. So I'm going to um, put a marker. I think I do already on Valentine. Are we 
Let's eat something. We're getting low on food again. All right. So when we turn them in, we do have to pay as a, a horse trainer. I think we only have to pay ten dollars. That seems to be what's been happening. But if you're just, um, if you don't have the horse trainer role, then it's going to be a little pricier because this guy's a little bit more expensive. He's not a lot. More. I think to buy them is like 130 or something like that. And so when you sell him, you get about $10 more. Should we shoot, we shoot him? I don't think I can get him from that. He comes back out on here, but I'm going to even have all the trees block me. Nah, I'm just going to carry on. So now, see, when I get into Valentine, I have to take my guns off. So I can't clean or brush my horse that I find in the wild until, even as a horse trainer, until I get him turned in. So let's see if we can get that guy. He's just sitting there. Mind his own little business. And the next thing you know, <laughs> his knees down. So because I'm going into town, what I'm going to do is pick him up and put him on my horse. And uh, then I can take him to the butcher and get two. Oh, he's perfect. Excellent. So yeah, you get two furs instead of one and you get, uh, I think, three venice and something like that. Let's put him on my other horse. There you go, Panda. You carry him and we'll jump on this other horse to turn him into town. The stables and then we can train him later. All right, stick with us there. Come on, Panda. So we'll get him turned in, and uh, yeah, one of the things that I love about coming in here is that you can just do randomly whatever you want. You know, you can hang out with groups, you can form a gang, you can try and take over town. <laughs> we had at one point, I think, um, two or three, maybe even four different gangs, and they had totally taken over. Sandini. It was impossible to go in there without getting <laughs> held hostage. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard sometimes. Uh, somebody had a really good uh, show on about how to. They did the training for the sh for the sheriffs, and they were showing it. And uh, <laughs> it was best thing about it was if you wanted to rob a bank, you knew exactly. <laughs> What, what your options were. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Okay, so I have to put my gun away before I get in there, so I'm just going to stop here. And this is what I forget to do when I go in. And, you know, when you're dancing in the street, you know, there probably isn't much reason to be hostile with people who are creating any trouble or anything. Because you don't purposely have your guns reappear. You might see here what will happen is once I jump off the horse and I turn it in, there's a boat of. I gotta stop here or I'll lose that deer, oh, deer carcass. Buck, I should say. So we will see when we get in here what the odds are that that gun shows up after we turn it in. Come on, horse, stick with this. And it's not too bad now because we're still, you know, in the morning. It's afternoon now, Eastern time, but uh, we've got, it's not heavy yet with people in, but weekends, it can get really, really exciting. <laughs> By exciting, I mean deadly. <laughs> For myself, I'm usually training the horses or kind of just having fun. I don't really um, get into too much trouble. 
but uh, yesterday, oh, it was so funny, you know, ended up with my sister Patty Lou and I having a boxing match and then taking on, you know, one of the guys and that poor guy has to go and tell people that he was beat up by a couple of old grannies in skirts. That's, that's going to be hard. <laughs> so this is going to test my theory on whether or not it's only $10 to turn them in because I have 18, so if it's not less than that, well, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Come on, you stick up with this pony. You got to turn this baby in. So we're going to get down to the barn here and turn him in. And then we'll go uh, bring that carcass in to the butcher. All right, here we go. What are we going to name him? Let's call him Patch. I swear I have the most unimaginative names. I should ask people. <laughs> but we'll see. So yeah, it is the $10 because it's letting me name him. It usually won't if you don't. So I have papers created and can go to the stable when I want. So let's bring you now and turn in your carcass, this carcass, to butcher. And you'll get a chance to see that we will get double furs and more meat than you would if you just uh, did it yourself. All right, here we go. We'll take that off. Thanks for carrying that panda. We sure appreciate it. Let's get right up to him. We break down the item. So you get three venison, two two skins, and the buck antlers. So better, pretty much better. And I'll show you now where we put that little fellow. So we'll send you off. There you go. Panda needs a good bath. But Bella is always so dirty. My guns did not pop back in, so I'm happy for that. But this is where he is now. You see him right there, that's Patch. So you see, I caught him in the wild. And if you look, his experience, if you go all the way down on the stats, you see that his experience is 400. So that's two training sessions that I won't have to do with him. So that's crazy, right? And who else? Um, you know, Sultan is trained. Tater Todd as well. He came out when I first had him at 500. Um, I give the strangest names to these guys, but you know, my thought is that while you're training, you kind of want to, um, I kind of want to positively reinforce. So I'm going to pull out another horse here because we're going to go up there and I sort of want, let's see, let's bring Sassy out. Sassy needs, Sassy actually, his saddle needs a fix, so we'll do that too. We're going to add a blanket to his saddle this I didn't do it oh we have three dollars we're not doing that <laughs> but yeah so if I wanted to sell this one because I bought this one if you look at the buy horses um, in these Vangelin gang horses you have like Dutch's horse he's to buy him is 1350 here uh, Micah's horse Baylock I have him um, John's horse is a great big uh, Hungarian half-bred, and Rachel, she's a Turkoman. Charles's horse, obviously, in Appaloosa. I've had him. I really like this one. Javier's, um, I have had him, but um, I like when the horses have, rather than just sort of being gray and black, I like them to have just a little bit more color like the, the Appaloosas. I've had Skullface. I really like Skullface, too. And this is Sadie's horse, the one that I'm on, and it's also a Turkoman, but it, when it, it's the gold, you can't really see it here. Let's see if we change around the view. She's got uh, a black mane and tail, and she's got black on her. Let's see if we can see it when we look at the hind end. Oh, you can't really, but she's got a black patch over her loin and uh, over the crew, the uh, crew. So, yeah, she's beautiful. I didn't, maybe I will pull her out because I really like her. Let's go back there. Let's bring, I called him Joker. <laughs> Make you active. Let me come out here and we can give him a call. Where are you at, Joker? Come on. There you are. So you see how black her, her back is? I just love it. His back, I should say. Okay. Check our mail. I haven't been there for a little while.
Yeah, one of the things that's interesting in here that I noted is that I used to, in RDO and, and the PS4 version, I always had the lights on my horse, and sometimes I don't here. So you can take him up, you can hit you. Like I say, there's a lot of people who, whether they're in here, they do everything completely in role play. They walk up there. I mean, myself, I'm just, <laughs> that's just too habit, right? <laughs> But, you, you know, you won't have too many people get upset with you because they it's sort of a, it's, it's, they might not like that you do it, but they kind of keep it to themselves. They're very polite in that way. And that's one of the things that I like in here is that people just don't really too often get in your face. Like the encounter we had with the sheriff, that was unusual to have them do that. But I always say, you know, you get the interesting aspect of people. The people who want power aren't always the people who should have it. Hi, Juicy, how are you? Sorry that I don't pay attention to the uh, the chat as much as I should, but you know, when you get to be a, an old lady, <laughs> multitasking is dangerous. Let's give this, this guy a brush. He really needs it. So is there anything that you would like us to do here while we're in? And I'll put my guns back on <laughs> out of there. And I should check and see. I think it was on Sassy. I should have called Sassy and got the guns off. No, I don't have anything stored on him. All right, here we go. Let's head on down to Blackwater and see what's going on there. I know they're gorgeous, right? One of my favorite horses, you know, a lot of people love the Missouri Foxtrotter, but for me, I love how, how cheeky they are flipping their head around, and they're so fast, and if you're up against three, four wolves, I swear these horses will just put out a, a front leg and smack a wolf, and you know, by that time you only have three you gotta deal with, <laughs> so it's pretty nice. Now I know I'm not really going in the direction I should, but I was going to take this route just so it's a, it's a pretty route. There's just so much in here. My hope is, is that Rockstar is going to take a, a cue from this and say, gee, we should build an RDR3, which I'm hoping this is what this is about, is to see what, what lies, what doesn't, what do people like, what do they complain about. And it would be lovely to see if they actually say, you know, maybe it doesn't happen for another three or four years, but it would be lovely to see this come out as a fully interactive, playable game and take all the stuff that they pick up from, you know, the Red M servers and implement it in a... Not that you can't do this and not that everybody couldn't use this, but lots of just don't have the aptitude for messing around and trying to get everything to work quite right. CFP has gotten better and better, but, you know, it still is quite a learning curve for people that are not, you know, really tech savvy. So. Which horse do you like best out of all of them, Juicy? I like the uh, the big roadster, but oh, for training, I tell you, that, that horse is brutal. Like, I'm seriously injured so many times, I've had people have to haul me off to the doctor a couple times. And the Mustang can be a little bit like that, but still not as bad. Like, even catching the roadster out in the wild, um, it, like, he'll throw himself off a cliff rather than get caught sometimes. Oh, I didn't grab that gun when I should have. He's going to get away here, isn't he? All right, let's pull this up. If he's still around, we're going to bring him home. Oh, I don't know why you have to get off to get your gun. Rick, but you do. Is he still there? What's that? Let's bring that <laughs> He was there. He was in my sights. What the heck? We can always use, yeah. Which one? I I I like the black one, but um, 
when I caught him, I got so excited and I, I brought him home. And then, I don't know, I just, I like this old one. And I end up going back to it or the, the gray. I really like the gray turcoman. I did get the brindle thoroughbred and trained. Oh, shoot. Okay. Don't spook that guy. Just sit still, sit still. All right. Let's see if we can't get him now. You just race still there, buddy. Whoops. See, I do the same thing. I take this to the butcher. And then you can get the double um, the double hides, and I think I get three venison. Three or two, I can't remember. The venison's a little lower than the others. But still, getting the double, you know, when you're going for doing some of those deliveries. So we do cycle between night and day pretty, pretty quickly. We're already at night. And uh, there's lots of de debate between people. They like to say that for some reason that there's more night here but I don't really see that there is I think the time was you know quickly but um, the architect says it's exactly the same as um, the OG county I've advised people in my family to play this county because wow you know I even had to be very sure to advise that there is a very strong likelihood of addiction with it too because you just can't help it. It's just so... Somebody's coming along here. Let's just get out of their way. And we'll take and turn in this deer before we head out. I might head over to McFarlane and do some training over there too. And if people ever have requests of something they'd like me to see, me to do so that they can see how it's done, I can do that. As long as I know. And if I don't know, I'll go ask around and see what people think, how we should do things. So let's go into the butcher here. There used to be a butcher outside of them, but they built this up so you can just hit break down items. And yeah, four, four venison meat, that's not too bad, the two deer hides. Sometimes you get a deer heart as well. I think, I think though, that that's just for when you bring perfect hides in. Don't, uh, don't take that as gospel. Uh, ah, let's see. No, see, there's a gun shop there, but I know I have a bolt action at home, so I'm not going to go buy another one. All right, so I'll show you the markets. Like I say, I listed my balloon yesterday. And with all the prices and the way they've gone up, um, you know, that had to be put into the selling price, but it's in Valentine. If anyone's looking for a balloon, it won't be there very long. Oh, he's pretty. Look at him. Oh, looking very, very sharp. So I usually like to come in here and check and see what's going on with resources here see what the prices are. I just checked the common. Wow. Oh, I mean. Oh, I better get out of there, I guess, to do that. Howdy. Sorry, I was uh, in a menu there. Oh, um, you're probably fine. How you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, by chance, do you, are you a much... Do you, do you have a lot of information? Do you, have you seen a lot of things, been around places? I've been here a while. Around. Is there Ooh, something that you were... So I'm fresh off the boat. And, I see, uh, yeah. My friend, and we were out hunting. A guy gave us this rifle between the two of us. We'd be out hunting. He said that we should share the pelts, the, all that we get, and do a delivery, trade goods, or something like that. Do you know much about that? Um, I can help you out with that. Um, it's far, it's a little bit hard to find a curing rack sometimes, but you can buy them if you I've have already a little got bit. One. All right. Well, what you do is you just place it down. Yeah, I've done that. And I put okay. The leather, and and you've... then I was told I needed to go to a campfire to meet them into trade goods. Right. So where's the closest campfire? There's one over. Um, I could show you. Um, no, it's all right. You don't need to show it's, me. It's it's right. Campfire. Yeah, the campfire over on the other side of town there, 
and you just like like you said you just sit there and look for the trader goods because it'll take mm -hmm. two of each of your hides to make one trader good mm -hmm. and then once you have 50 all together you need to buy a chuck wagon chuck wagon okay that's, that's this is the information i need i need to know yeah. what, what wagon and where you started so you can so you you, chuck wagon yeah the chuck wagon and you have to start it wherever they launch and it's just on the other side of the stables here now it used to be in another spot so i think it was just a couple of days ago that it changed so you want to go on the other side over past just on the other side of the stables and that's where you can buy it, and then you can launch it right from there. And then you want to take it up to Manzanita, and if you uh, look at your paper map, uh, Manzanita, you'll see that there's a couple of, I'll just slide over there and take a look, there's a couple of spots. The one that's got the di uh, dollar sign on it there, if you can see on your paper map, you want to pull your wagon up right there with your 50 uh, trader goods loaded in the wagon. And if you pull right up on top of that with your wagon, it'll launch you off to a delivery. Just have to pick which site you want to go to. They have usually the from there the one you want to head to is Annisburg. I think it pays thirteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you said a truck wagon, right? Yeah. So you'll need I can't remember if it's eight hundred or twelve hundred, something like that. But you're going to need close to a thousand to buy that. Mm -hmm. So, if you, you know, just to build that up, sometimes, um, what's your trade? Have you picked out a... I'm a wagon driver. Okay, so if you're a wagon driver, um, I yep. would suggest you wait until you have 150. Because a wagon driver can take three times as many of the trader goods as a regular person can. Mm -hmm. So once you have that 150, do the same thing. Pull it up there at Manzanita, park it on there, and you'll get paid three times and just have to do one de one delivery. Right, right. Yeah, we have we have 300. Here oh yeah, so you'll be able to do us, the so. two. You'll be able to two back to back. Yeah, it's just maybe the information of which wagon you need. Yeah, that, if there's a specific one or yeah, just it is. Wagon. That chuck wagon is the one you have to do, and it'll show up looking different each time because sometimes it's covered and sometimes it's not, and it's easy to mistake it for something else. So, but as long as it's a chuck wagon, you'll be fine. A chuck wagon. All right, perfect. Well, I appreciate it very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Good luck on your Name's delivery. Zach, by the way. I'm Grant. Nice to meet you. I'm Granny Moses. Oh, Grant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't quite look my age. Quite a few things. What's quite that? A few things from there. So. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I just put a balloon up for sale. Oh, how much? Thirty thousand. It's the most I've ever put oh. it up for. But you know what? I have to pay through the nose. I used to be able to get burners and everything for around. Five, you know, hundred, something like that. Now they want three thousand, so I had to pay. Wow. So unfortunately, yeah. that goes down the line, right? Yeah. yeah. But you know, some people have more money than sense. <laughs> that's that's true. true. It took me forever to try and get a horse because I, I was real picky about my horse. I became oh, yeah. horse trainer. It's always what I've known, known and done. Yeah. And I managed to get really lucky. Found a black Arabian. Oh, wild, nice. And I was so Where'd you find it? Uh, I've seen them when somebody hasn't trained them and the the ropes are just hanging out because they're tough, those Arabians. They don't just sit there and let you ride off with them, not like oh, some. No, 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 no. Luckily, I know the tricks of the trade. So. Yeah. But then I was told I should definitely get rid of my horse training job because there's not much money in it. So my friend, Jace, he became a trapper and then I've become the wagon driver. I was trying. Yeah. That's the sad thing. Like I, 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 luckily, if you if you meet people in the what, what what most people do is you just develop sort of a little group, and like between about six people, you can have a you can have yourself a, a blacksmith, a, a driver, a farmer, a miner, and a rancher. You know, what's the other one? You know, some aren't so. The herbalist is good too because there's a lot of stuff they can make and. You know, 
But, you know, if you've been in for a little while, you've learned lots, too, on on uh, getting the water and making it into berry juice and stuff like that, so it lasts longer. Oh, no, I haven't learned that one yet. Yeah, if you pick some raspberries and you have a raspberry and a water that you've collected, do you know how to collect the water down at the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you, have like, live if you have, like, 30 of those and, and 30 berries, you can make about 30 of the berry juice and... Instead of having it just fill your, your um, fluids up like about an eighth, it goes around to about seven eighths, three quarters or seven eighths. So, mm, yeah, wow. pretty helpful. Look for We've yeah. been looking for berries and mints and you know, better meat and such, but we haven't found much luck. Well, that's where it's good to have an herbalist because they get some. Uh, they have a little little device that lets them see from a little dis bit of a distance. It lights up kind of yellow. So that's a good way to start is when you're a, a, an herbalist. It gives you the ability to activate that site and then you can go around and look and see way more easily. And there's lots of spots. Like in particular, um, Emerald Station, you know, all the little swampy areas. Just go along the banks yeah. there and you'll find lots. Mm, okay. There's a lot, there's there's a couple of raspberries out here in the wild too, but like it's so dense when you get there, it's just like you know you go you'll spend it'll give you you'll take close to half an hour just picking out all the berries that are there. Berries and uh, what's the others? There's lots of milkweed and mint and oregano too. So those are really good to add to your meat, so that uh, oregano will give you a, a, a uh, your health goal gold core health or gold ring yeah. health yeah so that's good to add those in but yeah some cannabis, which i was very surprised at out in the farm. what was that cannabis oh yes you find that you got to be careful if you have i think it's more than six of them and the seeds um you can end up in sisica <laughs> not that they just stop and search you but if they stop you when you're doing your wagon driving what you'll find they do sometimes because if you don't have the 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 big canopy on the back the big rings or whatever you call it that then it looks very much like the same wagon that people use to run their moonshine so the deputies will stop you and ask to search your wagon and if you have anything yeah. that's uh, contraband then you get to spend some time and, <laughs> and lock up <laughs> uh, that's another time to learn that stuff. <laughs> yeah Something to maybe that all in the future, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody's got to try a little bit of everything in here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a I'm lot sure of you, fun. You've done plenty. I've 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 pretty much kept my nose clean, but I'll tell you, I, we we did a they have a boxing ring in Valentine, and we had quite a bit of fun in there last night. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I know our friend Jace likes to do a bit of fun, so might get him involved in that. Yeah. Well, I think that any time you have a group of people gathering, they're going to have something like that go on. I'm, I'm surprised, you know, they haven't figured out a way to make the chickens fight. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> or dogs. Like, all the dogs are pretty yeah. nice. <laughs> you don't, don't get the fish. Although the wolf can get pretty scared. Or not the wolf. The uh, husky can be pretty noisy. But, you know, there's a good one, too. If you ever get into the ranching and you get a, a dog, he can sit there and keep them grazing through the daytime for you. Yeah, I was told to buy a bird, uh, and I went and bought a hawk for like 80, 90 bucks or something, and now I've been told that I need uh, $1,500 in order to train it so actually do anything. Well, no, you can that. send them out. You can send them out. It just, what happens is when you're a trainer and you have the bird, when you send it out, you get, um, the bird gets three XP every mm -hmm. time she's sent out, but you'll only get one, but it still drops the... The, the like it'll get better and better um, if you get like a hawk it'll start to bring your rabbits eventually and those are good for your hides so if you have a combination where someone's out there with their or you're out hunting with your bird the only problem is with any of the uh, the raptors um, you've got to be off your horse to pick the yeah. it up but if you buy one of the parrots or the parakeet or the seagull or a crow or raven you can stay on your horse and fly and just let that bird keep bringing your treasures. Mm, so how do you actually call the bird? Because I have a hawk that I'm um, in rental for, but I have no idea how to get him. You you need a 
a, a bird whistle. So if you're up in Manzanita Post there when you're going to do your delivery, just stop in there and grab a bird whistle for $20. And then you just, uh, once it's in your inventory, you just open your pockets and and uh, click on him and use is the command and it'll just let you send him off. You just follow the instructions there. I, yeah, my favorite is the, the, the blue parrot. Like if you ever get over to Guarma, it's exactly like the birds over there. I just love them. Only thing, don't take it to Guarma because my sister shot it. <laughs> You know, because they're flying all over the place and you can shoot yeah. them and collect the feathers. So, yeah, they still come back, but it's pretty devastating to see your favorite bird just suddenly squawk and fall to the ground. Yeah. I, I had to punch my hundred. sister. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and with the I dogs. <laughs> I did, too. Oh, well, that's a good thing for the boxing ring. Get it out there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I won't hold you. I'm, I'm hoping that you, uh, you get some deliveries now that you, if at 300, you'll, you'll, you'll want to start at Manzanita, and that'll take you, or yeah, that'll take you up to Annisburg, and then you want to, um, you can't really, you got to keep the wagon. Normally, when you're finished with your wagon, you just uh, store it, but you want to keep it and look up um, on your map under the V. Crips is up there, and that's where you do your second delivery. And from up there, um, it takes you down to Armadillo for another 1300. Well, for you, it'll be over three, like 3600. So between the two of those, you'll end up with about $7,200 for those two deliveries. So pretty good, pretty good uh, pay. All righty. I should probably get uh, back well, and. Uh, I appreciate it, Granny. Yeah. For all the, uh, the knowledge. Yeah. Well, good so luck. I'm see if I've got enough money for that wagon now. You I'll bet. To sell some of these cured hides. All right. Good luck with that. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So that's one of the things that I love in this uh, county is. Um, there isn't, you know, when you go into RDO or, you know, original county and you go, there's, you know, you, you see lots of YouTube and, and there's lots of YouTube where people are given instructions on how to do things. And Red M is just so new that there's not really much of that. You know, it's pretty much more go in county, ask the questions that you need answers to and people will help you out. So. I don't mind sharing everything. I don't see that there's any real competition, you know. The biggest, everybody's working and dealing with, is, everyone's trying to deal with, oh, I better put that gun off. Or the, oh, I'll be out of town by the time I get that done, so let's just get out of there. Yeah, he found a black Arab. I wanted to find out he did not share that. I found that interesting, but that's the way it goes. When they first come in, they feel like the information has to be guarded. What he realizes afterwards is that black Arab only spawns every so often. So it's not like just going to that location is going to give it to you. And it's not like they can't just go buy that black Arab if they want it. So I just find it funny when people try to really protect the information in here. Because it's protect it, you know, really for what? I do my best to try and help everyone who comes in here because experience is just, oh, that deer is running, running to, hurrying off to die. Uh, you too? Do I have to get off and punch you? You look like you might be one of those kind of deer. Let's see. I'm not wasting a bullet. <laughs> and now he's running so now I can shoot him. That's what I do to get them unstuck. Go and just kick them. <laughs> so we we'll take him back and we'll double, double hide him too. Uh, hey. Excuse me. Yes, sir. You wouldn't happen to have a bite to eat for five bucks, would you? Oh, 
Oh, you don't have to pay me. If I have something, I'm happy to give it to you. Here we go. This should keep you for a little while. I've only got five, so I can't give you too many, but at least this will keep you for the day, I think. Uh, one, one is fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I appreciate it. Get you to town or wherever you need to get to. Yep, yep. Thank you very much. You're have welcome. A good day. You too. Alright, so we're going to head this back into town and go and deliver it at the... Let's just mute that again. We're going to take it and deliver it. Yeah, I'd so much rather help people out. You know, a lot of people, when you see people come and running up to you like that, you get a little panicked, thinking that they're they're going to try and hog tie you. And, you know, a lot of people come out of some of the other... Um, you know, games and they're still hyped up on whatever they were playing and they want to conquer the world and in here it's just a completely different so there's the, the cook spot that I was telling him about a lot of people don't do this with their carcasses it seems a bit tedious but if you get a wagon and you fill that wagon up with five of these and it won't, it won't last, like you can't do it and, you know, keep them in there overnight. This is just a, until you, you know, are, if you disconnect, you lose everything that's in the wagon. But um, if you have five, you can just take your wagon, take all, all of them out of the wagon just like this and carry them on in and get double all the hides. So, yeah, I think it's worth doing. Just break it down. So instead of getting one venison meat and one deer hide. See, I got the deer heart. That one must have still been. It wasn't perfect, so that sort of messes with that theory because I kicked that poor little thing a bunch before. <laughs> Oops. Oops. That's not my horse. I just about got kicked in the head for that. Don't mess with anybody else's horse. See, I could get in trouble for having my gun, but. Ooh, that was pretty. Let's go watch the lightning storm, see if we get any more. Oh, that was hurt. <laughs> watch out for that sharp turn. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going all the way around. Can we get around here and get up still? I've never tried to do this. Yeah, I guess you can. Oh, I love the storms. You needed a bath anyways, didn't you, hey? I know, Joker, I know. What if you just hit? Oh, I didn't kill it. So there's so many spots now that uh, have people camping. It makes me think of, you know, what the West really was like, right? At first you could find a place anywhere and then the farmers all set up and then there was battles between the ranchers and the farmers over the fences that the farmers put up because the ranchers wanted free roam. And, uh, you know, business has always been like that ever since, too. The ones who are, you know, bigger than life, making the big money, always making sure that the little guy can't make too much money. Well, I'm glad the stream got working again. That was, it was a little bit frustrating when I just it just kept dropping off and I'm I've dropped down to the 1980 1020 with 30 frames and it's been pretty smooth so I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed you know it, when I put it up full screen it's you know it's not not blurry or anything so I mean it's not perfect either but we'll see if we can't get it sorted out to see get it down to where it'll let me stream some of the higher. I just don't know. I know that I, I had to even change the uh, resolution on the uh, on the computer. So let's see if we can find a horse. That's always fun. We did find one so far, but I mean, this is just the lovely way that I like to spend time in here. Just. You know, doing whatever I, I like doing. 
hanging around with people, helping people out when I can. But, uh... This is usually a good place to find some of those Island Morgans or the Kentucky Saddlers. Every once in a while you get an Dakota out here. If I can't find anything here, maybe I'll mosey on down to McFarlane and see. There's the horses right over there. Hide inside. That's, that's tricky of you, eh? Up you go and over. So we can take any of these. So they got the barrels, they got pole bending. Let's go with the red and white here. Can they just run right through there? Are they going to be able to get through? All right, we'll pick which one we want. Let's take you. No, not you. This one's the one we want right here. Don't kick me. Don't kick me. No, calm down. Get out of the way, horse. Oh, man, how am I going to do this if you can run away like that? Huh? How am I going to do this? There's a white one out there. Did you just see that? I saw that. You just go right over that thing if you have to. There's a white horse over there. I was sure I saw one. Let's do this. Let's go and see if it's still over there. No, don't get away from there. We're losing hide. Did we turn it in already? Yeah, we turned it in. That's good. I have a short memory. It's good, but very short. So I thought I saw him run up here. You know, I can't always tell when they're in the distance what color they are, because they shift a little bit, but we'll go turn this guy in. I don't have enough money to turn him in, so I'm just going to sell him. Probably worth like 20 bucks, something like that. Give me enough to pay for the next horse. <laughs> I have to turn it. I could just go to the bank, I guess. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> yeah, let's just head to the bank so that we don't waste the money. Because I, I could train these guys. But you have a bunch in there. You, I got to check and see if I get a big um, bill for the horses. I haven't looked at that before. <laughs> So welcome, welcome to the stream. We're just moseying around, having fun, not doing a whole lot. So I'm gonna go over here first to grab somebody. When you're a horse trainer, it's only $10, but I'd get 20 something if I sold them. All right, all right, it's okay, calm down. I like this horse. When Austin BMX was streaming, he would call this El Cheapo, and I used to just laugh so hard, because this was always the horse that I wanted, but um, in the old OG county, um, you couldn't train the horses up as high, so it would be just heartbreaking. You'd love a horse, but if it was a certain level, you couldn't. Let's just get something to drink here before we take off. I know lots of people come up and they will, you know they ask for stuff from you and people are thinking oh they're just mooching but it's not really true. People will, will take things and then sometime at some point you're gonna find out that those people are. Uh, make sure you're yes, sir. I'm gonna take this off. We get into any trouble with that. So he'll just be waiting here outside the, the bank while I go in and get some money. And uh, let's just get some withdrawal. And let's go with, say, 200. So we got a little bit to go. Come on. I'll go turn you in now. those guys just in case one of them's a sheriff. I don't like when they get upset because they think we might 
might be doing some some mission. This more horse is tired out. But I'm gonna turn him in and train him because he's so pretty when he goes through a good brushing and gets wet. Oh man, he's he just shines like metal, like almost you know like a copper top there. He's gorgeous. So yeah, this is, mine is not the exciting stream, but then again, I am a granny, and at 60, I don't need the excitement. I just like to have fun in here. It's more of a, can I do it? Yes, I can. <laughs> and sometimes the strangest things do happen, so. All right, so let's see. I only had the three dollars and it would not have let me turn him in. What should we call him? Let's call him El Cheapo in in memory of <coughs> the old Austin streams. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, that cost me ten dollars. Come on. Who did we have? Oh, we've got we've got Joker coming. Where are you? There you are. Let's put that gun back on so we don't go without. I really needed my bolt action, but. Could be one of those guys out there. horses. I like training there and find my bird. Speaking of which, I should probably call my bird out even though we're out here. Who knows what we'll get out here. Let's go with Justice. He needs some training. It's the only way we get Justice. <laughs> So I'd love to hear from people and find out which rules they like the best and why. I know for myself, um, I love the horse training, but I also love the blacksmith because when I can um, make up a balloon, oh, I'm in my heaven. It takes a lot. And there's lots of parts that you got to collect and pieces, and they're not cheap. Like I said, you know, people are asking sometimes three thousand. When you need it, sometimes you got to just pay for it. And when I couldn't find elk the one day, everything was frozen. And I really wanted to get it finished because there's, i got to come back down this. Hold it, pony. Calm yourself down. you got to get going in the other direction. We missed our turn. Let's see if we can do this without dying. Come on, down you get. There we go. I did, but he didn't go. I know why he didn't come to me because I'm on the horse, so do I have to send him home and call him again? <laughs> Let's do this and make it off. Getting out of menus in this in this um, is probably the hardest thing that you can do. Alright, wagon coming along. Hopefully they don't try and hit us. Let's go and stomp that bird. Oh, he's gonna run. So now that bird should have come, but okay. I did send it home so I could recall it because it's just sometimes they stay on. There we go. They want you to be off your horse, most of them, until they get past a certain level. So if I get off my horse, come on, call bird. And then once he comes to you for some reason, he doesn't like to come to you when you're on a horse. Don't know why. All right, Justice, off you go. Isn't he gorgeous? When my sister shot him, oh man, oh man. It's like, really, really? You, can, you can't really tell the difference between, you know. So I'm teasing, it's not really her fault. So we're gonna head on down. I see this fellow heading that way too.
So I don't really work to get a fellowship or to have people in. I just, I used to do a lot of card reading for people. I even got a, a prairie playbook for reading. So if you went up where those people are going, you'd actually get a lot of, um, a lot of the horses show up there. But I've got lots of horses, so I'm just gonna head over and pick out a horse that I wanna train. And this interesting stuff happens here lots of times. So over behind where the other fellow was going there, you could find some horses. I know there's a roadster back there, and uh, I've been told there's a turkey back there, but I've never seen it. So uh, what else? And then all the others, of course. But we're going to get ourselves... I should see if I can, while I'm here, let's see if I've got my, my bolt action in with that sleevers. There you go, buddy. And we will bring in, I think Sassy is the one I put it on, so let's check. Come on, Sassy, where are you at? Let's jump over here and call Sassy. Let's see if she's in the saddlebags. A raspberry, there it is. There's my bolt action. Well, you know what? I should make sure I've got the ammo too. Just. I don't really want to carry that around with me. Alright. Let you go hunt for a little while. We're going to send you away again. Let's just make sure that that is, yeah, they both are nice and loaded. All right. All right. Who should we train? Should we bring our little red and white one out there? Let's bring El Chipo out. So El Chipo was at 400. So that's two training sessions that I don't have to do. Come on. See what I was saying about the rain and how this one just glistens? I think she's beautiful. She, is it a she? No, it's a he. I'm always impressed with the fact that all the horses that you get from the wild tend to be males. If you really think about it, it wouldn't be like that. You know, you would have a, a herd and it would be one male to about, you know, six females. So, but look at her glisten. Isn't she beautiful? He? I think so. But yeah, I'll show you all the of all the training spots today. Oops, don't hit it in between, damn it. Sometimes I do that when I talk. <laughs> I shouldn't talk. Just just train. But we'll get this one up to a little bit higher and then call the horse back in. See, he brought me water there. A lot of times you get water brought to you out in the desert training spots or desert areas. Send you off to hunt. As soon as you get close to 2,000, you usually get tossed, so that's around when I do my ending, my training sessions. Not when I'm tossed, but once I hit 2,000. So when you find them in the wild, is you know just having those two training sessions to get to 2,000, you don't have to do it. It's nice to have them trained up a little faster. I do wish that everybody could get their own horse up to 2,000. I think that um, it would be harder for them to get interaction with people. They really want them to be for it to be immersive. You really have to have you know sort of a forced interaction with people because people like myself are a little bit. Uh, more socially um, <laughs> restrained, I guess. I don't call it shyness because it's not that I'm shy. It's more of a. Um, I just I my it's it's just uncomfortable for me. Like shy people don't have discomfort, whereas I actually experience a great deal of discomfort around large groups of people. Okay, you go hunt there, buddy. A couple more sessions here. Yeah. 
So I've been really, really curious about this whole UFO thing that's going on right now. I'm just wondering, wow, are we going to, is it a distraction right now because of the, the way things are politically and the, um, you know, the condition the Earth's in that they're suddenly wanting to distract our attention from it all? Or is, and it doesn't mean it isn't real, but I just think that, you know, they probably said, let's just leave this and not tell people about it until we're in a situation that we really need to distract our attention. And that's terrifying because it means that something's going on that we don't know about that seriously needs our attention distracted from. I, I'm personally a believer of the sort of the, that all times are existing simultaneously and many, um, different like that that there's more dimensions than just this one and that i don't think that the ufos or uaps or whatever they want to call it i don't think that they're coming from another planet i think they're coming from another dimension possibly even a time dimension they could be us from the future coming back to get resources maybe there's the water is so far bad in the future that they have to come and get it from the past and even if it's not true that would make a good movie right <laughs> I think this is the last one we have to do to get past the two guys. Then we can send El Chipo off. And... Oops. Even, even fucking there, I knew I'd probably get tossed. At least it let me finish that. So we're past the 2000, so I'm going to take you back over and let you do this. I don't bother saddling a lot of the horses if I'm not going to keep them because that's just a you know another at least $150 investment. And it does give you the option to store stuff, but if all you're doing is training, you don't really need that. Sometimes there's a nasty little cougar hanging around right there. He hasn't ever come into the ring, but he's come close to it, and I start hearing all the shots going off. All right, El Chipo, you're looking beautiful. You go have a nice day in your stall. Okay, let's see who we should bring in here. Dreamer. Dreamer's my favorite, so let's bring you in. And then we'll head down, and we can take a look. Oh, you're coming in for a landing, are you? Where are you at, Dreamer? Are you going to come in those? All right, you're coming in that gate. You're going to go all the way around, aren't you? It's all right. I'm right here. So he's already trained. I don't have to do anything but just get on and go. Let's check and see if we have anything in your saddlebags before we go. No. Nope. All right. We're going to have to save that. As much as I like that they added that in there, when it asks you to save yes or no, okay, we got something over there we can run to. I think it's probably just a, probably just the, one of the safe sites, but we'll go take a look and see what it is. I hear a hoof beats behind me, so it could be someone that's also heading there at the same time, so we'll see. So, take a shot. Yes, they did. Look at that. Who are they fighting with? It's a safe. Somebody's got them. All right. I do have my lock picking skills up there, but not as high as they have to be, and I just don't have enough commitment to, to thievery to get good at it, I guess. I appreciate you bringing me water, but it's not exactly the sort of treasure that I was looking forward to. So let's set a waypoint and head on down to Armadillo. And we can do some training down here, so let's do that. There's a 
some good horses around there. We can go look around there. It's a nice thoroughbred. I just got the Brindle thoroughbred, so I don't need that one. There's some Appaloosas down there that I like. The ones with the, you know, the big spots, I like them. I haven't seen the Leopard Appaloosa ever in the wild. I'm sure that people have. I do find it funny though, like, you know, when you sit and tell a person and give them help on something and you have a sort of simple question and, you know, if he didn't know or couldn't remember where he found it, because that would have made been the most obvious when you're first starting, you don't really know the map, but I think that he might have known the map. A lot of people, they say it's their first time in here and they want some information, but it isn't necessarily the first time they're in. that miss their turn. <laughs> you can always get someplace. You just might have to go a little farther than you planned. I know there is not a fast way down there, not without killing your horse. You take a little bit of a shortcut here. But even this, you just, there's so many rocks that it's not easy. If you spend a lot of time in here and you get into some of the shenanigans that we have, people will get to know you. That's why, you know, it's no good going in here and shooting and being a raising hell because, you know, unless you want to start all over with another character, the first person that you come in here as is pretty much who shows up. No matter if you make four characters, you'll still show up when they take a look at you. You'll still show up as the first person that you started as. So. You kind of want to either start and live big and large, or be cautious. I think that's the big old Concord there. Condor, I should say. California Condor. So yeah, we have a bank here. You have all the usual. You can even get, you can, you can get a horse out there if you want to. But because I'm going to go and look for horses too, I don't really want to. Um, I don't really want to bring a new horse. So whenever I have someone racing at me, I get off the road because that's a good way to die. Yeah, especially when there's wagons. You can ruin their whole delivery if they run into you. And as much as that might sound fun, um, people can be vindictive in here. You make them mad, they might just decide to follow you around and return the favor. All right, she's getting dark here. Sometimes this works in your favor because hear the horses. And uh, that's the only way really that you can find them. Just listen for them. Oh, I only have my head set at 50%. I was wondering. It seems pretty quiet, <laughs> but yeah. Up there. Let's, let's 
see if we got anything on our radar here. Not seeing anything. I know there's some just out of town around here. Get up into these areas. Is it an armadillo? Oh, it's an armadillo. Yeah. These are they're, they're, their hides are good to collect because they're needed. I think was it the improved bow? I can't remember which one. No, with, uh, one of the recipes, the herb recipes. That's a good thing about being all of the different roles. You'll find out what other people need to collect, and then you can save that up. Especially if you like going after the legendary, the, the horns and the, the uh, ram horn and the antlers are all used in different recipes, so you can actually make quite a... Uh, okay, what was that over there? Those are some iguanas. What was that over there? It's like a horse to me, no, it's a hog. Alright, let's do this with the arcana. Oh, you're gonna run? How about you? You can run, but you can't fly. don't have desert, but we really do. <laughs> we have rattlesnakes not too about an hour away from here. They might even be right close here, but I don't really go looking for snakes, so <laughs> I like to stay out of their way. And when you see us come out again, that's how we'll see if this is right. Alright, you guys are still there, are you? Oh, you oops, don't, don't move. He's way over there. Not that inclined that I want to chase them. Okay, so we might go after those guys. They're actually. These guys are usually worth a little bit. How close I can get them when they're gonna run, so don't mess with them. Put your head down there. For me, <laughs> most of the time, if I get. I'm pretty happy, and I'll throw this guy on the back because if I can get him to a butcher, I get more than one hide. <laughs> and you can still skin them. Like if I had my wagon, I could put five of these in the wagon and pick them up one at a time. Alright, is that horses up there? Or is that more of your little friends? Take a lot of shooting there, buddy.
wish they'd give us an option to to uh, be able to mercy kill. <laughs> hey, Mr. Yoda. Uh, good to see you. <laughs> Was funny. That was like a drive-by there. Yeah, this isn't the most popular time to stream, but you know, like I say, I'm not really in it for the popularity more so for uh, the technology. Love to learn. Okay, I hear the possum. What was the other thing? Oh, I like these little lizards too. He's right in front of me. I should be there. I should be okay. Okay, no, I don't think so. He's getting good. It's so hard when they're in this underbrush to be able to see which way they are when they're moving around. Mostly because there's just so many um, gangs down here, and I just don't really know if it's going to be safe. <laughs> there we go. I think I only needed the one shot, but let's take let's take you. Let just put you on the side since we're going to the to the butcher anyway. It's just stow you and get double up on these two. find out when you're in here uh, in this county just what it is that really keeps you moving and makes you interested because like I try to do some jobs and oh man I just can't do them they're just so um, like two people -y, like uh, the you know some of the stuff you just you have to get to know people and it's just not something a little bit of pork. Right, Mr. Yoda? <laughs> it was not there, but um, as he would say, his best Homer imitation. Bacon. Where did I get? There you are. It really is the best game. Absolutely the best. I could spend half day in here and never be bored. There. That's that other pig. I don't need that pig. Lots of food. Let's get back on track. Get these delivered in. Maybe we'll see another. Um, <coughs>
Diana's good for a distance, but... a heart. No, it didn't. That gave me the two herp tallies too, though, so that's okay. You wash that blood off before you come around here again. Everybody's got a, an opinion. You could shoot them, but... Said, I don't do this to try and just get this guy out of the way. Oh, you're already done. You're the great Turkoman, okay? No, you're not. I don't know what it is showing me, but it's not the great Turkoman. Let's get this again. You are. I'll call him in because I'm sure that that's not what it is. Right. Guys, I'm gonna love the darker side. We're gonna get him hopefully up to 2,000 before we're done. First day I came in to Valentine, I was kidnapped. I didn't know for sure that you had to go along or you had to escape, but then I found out. Sometimes you got the, the you know, 45 minutes to stick around, because that's, that's as long as they're allowed to keep you before they have to let you go.
takes a long time to get a, a session done, but once you're finished with, you know, and, and I do recommend that you uh, take lots of naps. If you've done like train, 10 training sessions, take a nap, and then how, how many sessions you have, or how many uh, clicks you have to do in a session will shorten up, like about every 10, I wouldn't say that for sure, but that's sort of the guideline that I go within a day you can be down to the six that you need. So, 1200, so we should probably have about 10 more. Because as you cl get close to 2000, really they do try to tell us to go a little harder. Hello, 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 stream. We're just doing some training here before we're disconnected. Storm. If you have any questions, or yeah, I was just going to say, if people have questions, they're really I have it. Just gonna, if I answer, I'll do my best. I think it's kind of what I'm known for in county, too. So I'm not really concerned about whether I give any trade secrets away, but I do this. I just, you know, people need to know it's nice to learn and you can ask them perhaps at another point when you need an answer to something. And yeah, I know that the women probably didn't dress like this to do their training, but... <laughs> So we can now, let's give you a little brush before we, there we go. So yeah, we have that one trained, or not trained, but this is 2000. I get tired of doing the same horse for a very long time, it's so competitive. a lone person hanging around. I, I usually suspect that they're uh, looking for an easy target to rob, but I'm not a very good target. Alright, so I'm far enough away from him that I can go and open my map and we will... Let's see, where's a good way to go? There's lots of different places. Like up in Gap twos, we have lots of horses. Oh, here it for Armadillo. Oh, but you know what? Let's head over there. We've only got 20 minutes before we're going to be done anyway. So we might as well make it fun. See if we can go find any beasties. This is where usually I see maybe one Appaloosa.
sides to me, like that one that's sitting off by itself, that's not on the two sides. I could get the two sides, they're usually lit up at night. But that one there that was pointing down, and I'm like, I wonder what that means. I suppose I could check my mail too. side, maybe we can get double. Although, what are you going to get double of? I guess if I need feathers, who knows? Who knows? He's been over there, of course.
another one. They're just popping up here. I'm sure that other guy, we just got this one. We'll go to that too. So we got 15 minutes to make it. to bring it to the butcher, ta butcher table here. So we will just do that, I guess. <laughs> I can always tell when somebody's just uh, found their, their uh, what you, when you go to uh, one of the smokes, usually if there's a black box, you're going to be able to uh, explode the dynamite that's around it. So when I hear those, it's usually just like, celebration of Miha or it's a uh, I got a gold coin I might as well blow this shit up <laughs> you know what are the other at least we get these two turned in and then like after the storm we'll start looking for horses again I'm just so happy that it hasn't disconnected for the whole thing that I just want to scream for joy. It's like, wow, I was struggling so hard with it. Now we've got her going, and I don't even want to try and take it up to a higher resolution because I don't want to lose her connection. Stay connected, that's what I'm wondering. Oh, I need some visit up with us again and we'll be starting out in tumbleweed looking for some wild horses so i will say thank you for watching and we'll be back again but bye for now